So when making almond milk, of course you need some almonds. Um, they can either be roasted or raw. Uh, either way, you can produce the uh, same quality of almond milk. And uh, you take about a cup of the almonds and then you soak it in water for 24 to 48 hours. Um, this loosens up the almonds so that they can be juiced appropriately. So after about 48 hours, the almonds have soaked up enough water that make them really easy to juice. Um, you can also get a similar type of effect by soaking them in water for 24 hours. Uh, you can see that when the water is a little bit cloudy and milky and um, the skins start to peel back from the almonds, then they're ready to be juiced. Before you juice, you want to get about anywhere from four to six cups of filtered water that you're going to be adding in with the almonds as you're juicing. It's important to, um, to, to pour water through the juicer um, to make sure that you get a, uh, a significant yield and that all of the, the almond juice is flushing out of the juicer. And before we can start juicing our almond milk, uh, making our almond milk here, we need to rinse the almonds until the water runs clear. Just to make sure any almond funk doesn't stay on there. So just simply rinse them with, uh, you know, tap water is fine. Uh, you can rinse them in a crop or even in that dish if you want to. But I got this fancy strainer here. And once they're rinsed, they're ready to juice. Now we're ready to fire up the juicer and start rolling here. Put in some almonds. So we got the paste coming out the back that we're going to save for later. And then grab our water. Got some almond milk coming out. Now we just rinse and repeat for the rest of the almonds, and um, then we're gonna have to strain the almond milk uh, through some cheesecloth, which we'll go over later, because there is um, a, a bit of a gritty almondness in the milk, which you may enjoy. Um, that, I've definitely uh, drank that style before and it's good, but uh, I'm going to take this batch and filter it through cheesecloth. And now we're done. Uh, so you saw for the amount of almonds that uh, I had uh, soaked in water, this is about the yield with roughly six to eight cups of water. I put additional water through the juicer to make sure that um, I got all the uh, the almonds uh, flushed through, flushed through the, uh, the cold press. And you can see on the back side uh, is all of the almond pulp that was made and that we'll save for later and put in the freezer. So I decided to give up filtering the almond milk and we'll just leave it with its uh, a little bit of greediness in it, which is uh, totally fine. Uh, perhaps you could also use a coffee filter. It's more or less just how much time that you want to spend uh, filtering out the almond milk to have it uh, be a little bit more liquid than smoothie. Uh, so the last phase, uh, which is optional, is adding some flavoring to the almond milk. Uh, I'm, I've decided to go with a quarter teaspoon of uh, vanilla ac extract per pitcher here, um, and then about half a tablespoon of turmeric and cinnamon uh, to give it a little bit more flavor. Hope you enjoyed this how-to video on making almond milk. If you'd like to see more videos from this channel, please remember to subscribe. Thank you.